Oh, hello everybody, it's Megalithic here, otherwise known as Poglo Escobar, and in today's video we'll be taking a look at the Anis Euros, retailing for a price of $1,350,000, and I'm sure you'll agree it's got a bigger nose on it than Gerard Depardieu. Okay, let's get going, shall we, ladies and gentlemen, this is the quick review after all. So, in terms of acceleration, what can we say? Uh, I mean, it's got less going for it than a ginger northerner with a face full of spots, you know. Uh, in terms of top end speed, ladies and gentlemen, you can see sort of moving down here. I mean, it's as fast as a pedigree racehorse that's been kneecapped by the mafia. It's as simple as that. Uh, the handling, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, it's absolutely awful. You know, it's more twitchy and slippery than a nervous chipmunk in a vat of oil. Okay, so we'll have a look at that acceleration one more time, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it's similar. It's a sort of a similar acceleration to that of which you would expect uh, from an old man farting his way up a flight of stairs, you know. That top end speed, I mean, it's sort of slower than a brain dead donkey with learning disabilities, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, in terms of handling, it's more unstable than a psychotic cocaine fueled trash panda in the grips of a bloodlust. And if you don't know what that means, we should watch all of our other videos. Okay, well, we're going to bring it on up to Sandy Shores, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, put the uh, Euros up against some uh, other vehicles and see how it stacks up. Now, the very first test we're going to do, just give you an indication, ladies and gentlemen, uh, is Anis versus Anis. This is the Euro versus Euro, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Mr. Raccoon there is in the default stance. I, myself, am I, I'm in the lowered stance, so we're going to see which uh, which stance performs uh, the, the, the better unit. I'm going to also take uh, this opportunity to point out all of the other vehicles are going to be driven by Mr. Raccoon. You know, he, uh, his name is the Bromby. He has a channel of his own. It is called the Bromby. If you type that into YouTube, you're going to find one they've got some other good videos on there. Pretty much neck and neck, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to be going in the default stance, don't you know? Okay, so the very first car that we're going to be bringing out in this uh, particular batch of tests, ladies and gentlemen, round of tests, whichever you refer to them, you know. Uh, it's another Anis. We'll be bringing out quite a lot of Anis, don't you know? This is the Anis ZR380, don't you know? Uh, retailing north was uh, of $2 million, $2,100,000 uh, and some in change, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, it's got quite a terrible handling, but even without using the boost, ladies and gentlemen, yes, it's significantly faster. So there we go. The uh, the ZR380, ladies and gentlemen, uh, outperforms the ZR, uh, outperforms the Anis Euros, I should say. Okay, so we're bringing out another Anis ZR, ladies and gentlemen. It's not the 380. This is the Anis ZR350. Don't you know? Uh, retailing for a uh, price of either 1.2 or 1.6 million dollars, ladies and gentlemen. It uh, is staggeringly uh, underwhelming as a vehicle and uh, dramatically underperforms around the track so now we're listening we're going to see what two uh underperforming analysis can do when they're put up against each other and you can see ladies and gentlemen it really is a battle to be the one to lose there they are really both sort of fighting for the loss uh but as it turns out ladies and gentlemen the euros actually has found a car it can feed them there we go so it takes down the uh, zr350 uh, ladies and gentlemen Okay, well, the uh, next vehicle we're going to bring out on this occasion is going to be yet another Anis, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be the Anis Elegy, the Anis Elegy RHA. Do I want to be specific about it? Now, this uh, vehicle can be acquired for free if one joins the Rockstar Social Club online, you know, uh, through their website. Uh, and for uh, this vehicle, as you know, it really is worth it. It's worth doing it for no other reason than to get this vehicle. It's a very, very fine vehicle for the money, which is absolutely free, can be upgraded to the retro for about $900,000, making it the Skyline, the Nissan Skyline, the much famed vehicle, uh, and it's going to beat the Euros, and there we go. Okay, so uh, the very next vehicle we're going to bring out, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the Ocelot Lynx. Now, the truth of it is, ladies and gentlemen, the reason why we stuck to pretty much the Anises, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, such an underwhelming car is the uh, Ocelot Lynx there, uh, retailing for $1,735,000. Uh, the simple truth, ladies and gentlemen, uh, is that uh, these, uh, this uh, Euros is not a particularly uh, high performing car, so we're going to see uh, if it can, uh, see what, what it can actually beat. Now, uh, the Lynx, ladies and gentlemen, can't beat a bloody thing in our opinion. We put it around the track, it couldn't, uh, we couldn't find a vehicle it can beat, and yes, there we go, we finally found one. So the Lynx takes down the Euros, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we're going to start to wrap things up, of course, now for, uh, well, this is what we like to refer to as, ladies and gentlemen, as a serious contender, don't you know? For those of you who do not know, for the hoes at home, for the uninitiated, shall we say, this, ladies and gentlemen, is the benefactor Serrano. Retailing for a price of $110,000 only can be found at the bottom of the legendary motor, uh, motorsport website, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the bottom end sports, but in fact, the ones able to buy. You can also uh, just drag get off the street, you know, if you spot one around, and if you're not aware of the benefactor Serrano, ladies and gentlemen, 
You certainly are now. Okay, so the very next vehicle we're going to bring out, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be Big Daddy Z. Of course, this is the Pegasi Zenporno, ladies and gentlemen, retailing for $725,000. In our opinion on this channel, ladies and gentlemen, Pegasi Zenporno is particularly a high watermark for this game and for uh, the, 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 the money you're paying. You're simply not going to get a better car than perhaps the uh, Benefactor Serrano, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, either way, ladies and gentlemen, it's not even close. As you can see, the Pegasi Zenporno is a fantastic car. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and it's going to absolutely destroy the uh, the Anis Euros there as it has been. So there's only one more question, and that is the final masquerade, the Gorotti Italy RSX, ladies and gentlemen. We get it for uh, 2.5 or 3.5 million, depending on the, uh, the you know, which price you're paying for it there. And it's already over, ladies and gentlemen, of course it is. So what can we say? I mean, in terms of looks, ladies and gentlemen, the Anis Euros is sort of more unbalanced than an evangelical preacher drunk on energy drinks now. In terms of acceleration, like reading the diary of a nun, it's slow, boring, and it's not going to get you off very fast. Top end speed, ladies and gentlemen, it's as disappointing as a threesome with Swedish twins that were congenitally joined at birth. And in terms of handling, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's more likely to shake its back end than Miley Cyrus at a music award show, you know? Uh, so there we go, and what can we say? I mean, in my opinion, it's more hideous than Frankenstein's monster, or Thanos, if you've never read a book. Uh, I don't like the vehicle, but Mr. Raccoon, well, he's really quite taken by it. I hope you enjoyed the video.